Hi, back again Monday afternoon. Been out for a bike ride this morning. This is part of the Beddington Farm development in South London, connecting several areas of parkland. Is this particular Beddington Farm is uh, has had a lot of quarrying for gravel and sand and stuff. And I think the trade-off is they re-landscape it. Uh, eventually it will be a, a huge park area. Well, huge by our standards anyway. And I've been blackberrying and picking the cherry plums. And while I was out, I've, I've painted this view. This was a quarry. Um, the cycle path is down down here, really. Come around there. You can't, I'm not showing you the chain link fence, whatever it is. To keep us vagabonds out. Uh, it's, it's, it's essentially a flat land, but we've got a hill going up here. It's all uh, landfill where they've been burying all the, the rubbish, the council rubbish for, for some years. Uh, but it's now a, um, a bird's paradise. A lot of bird watchers around here. And they've left us with this nice, nice lake. And there, there are two couple of other lakes further around here. And it connects up with um, the south side of Mitcham Golf Course. I've done this a couple of times in watercolour but I don't think I've done it in, in acrylic. I'll do a version of it, I'm not going to copy it slavishly. It's a grey day today, it's very warm, that grey. I had a bit of hot sun, but a thick cloud at the moment. So we'll, we will do something like that, I'm not going to... I like doing grey skies but they're never just one colour. Oh it's raining, oh that's unexpected. Oh, it'll only be just a light shower, not expected. Well, I'll move that to the side and I'll put my pack there. I forgot to put the cover on it from Friday when I finished. That's still life that I had a go. And all oh, the paint was dry. So, silly me. Uh, I'll zoom up to the paper. I'm, I haven't primed this one, I've, I'm just going to go straight in on it. Let's. Uh, I think we could come down a little bit, wind you down, try and wind you up. All right, uh, okay, so that, that's, that's where I can have plenty of room to move my roller chair. There, that looks fine. The camera's about the height of the, the picture, or at least the water, the, 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 the watercolour paper. I was asked over the weekend, if I use a retarder to stop it slowing down, and the answer is no. I've bought it in the past. Uh, it, it, all these artist stuff mediums are expensive. I just use PVA glue, which is woodworking glue, dilute. I don't even use, always use that. <coughs> but I'm going to just rough this in with water. I've, someone suggested a couple of years ago about KY jelly. Well, we know this has several uses. And it does uh, lubricate the paint somewhat, but that is quite an expensive way to buy it. So I don't need to bother with it. Um, when I bought that, there were various massage oils, the water-based, and I believe water-based massage oils are acrylic-based. Um, but I haven't tried them. They seem to have got rid of all those, uh, those items. They were very inexpensive, and you get a lot of your money. And if they work, then uh, so I'm looking out for some a big a litre bottle plastic bottle of of a, uh, of an uh, a water based. See these are all water based, but they're only water based until they dry. Then they're waterproof. So we'll uh, take up a brush and, and I'll I'll put in the back a background first. Uh, so I will I will use some PVA glue. I haven't got much left of this, so I just. I'll give it a good dilute, and that's my medium. Uh, give it a good shake. So all, you asked me questions about that, all this, all the mediums I use and, and the stuff, but really I'm making it up as I go along. What I do today, I, I, I won't do tomorrow. And you have to experiment for yourself. I've given you the basics of wood glue and, and plaster of Paris or um, household filler powder, you know, decorating stuff like like uh, that's a sort of well probably better than uh, 
the plaster of Paris, so it's a lot, a lot more expensive. Right, so we're going to mix up a green. I've got my palette here is, uh, is mid yellow, lemon yellow, uh, yellow ochre, vermilion, uh, alizarin crimson, light red, oh no, no light red, ultramarine, burnt sienna, black, and phthalo green. It's very similar to Viridian and it mixes well with the yellows and, and the vermilion to make lovely, lovely greens. So I want to put a dark green in the background, so a bit of the uh, the lemon yellow, black, phthalo green and some red. Now with that red, you need quite a bit of yellow in with it. And we've got some nice, so it's quite a high, what we, we're going to cover a lot of this up, so it's just, just going straight in, because we've got, we've got a sort of a, a landscape going across, across here. So just straight on. And we've got lighter yellows. I'll go over that with, with the darker shadowy colours. Vary the, bring the changes, bit of red, bit of black, bit of yellow, bit of red. Lovely to hold with that. See that look, the, the phthalo green, look it's a blue, it's a blue green. You mix that with water, you get some beautiful cold blue greens. And you can use it with impressionist painting by using dogs like Arthur Madison or Monet. Little bits of it, counter change with the complementaries. I get all sorts of some nice lighter yellows over here. We've got some sort of conifers here and there. Right, okay, that's that. Let's uh, put in some dark, some dark. Greens. The sun was behind those. That was looking south. So to a certain extent, these these ones are silhouetted, but not black. Right, we can put lights on there after. It's all dry. We we'll go in with the clouds and open up the. Uh, Sky holes, three points. Okay, so that's that. Clean my brush. I, uh, I tend to just to use one or two brushes, three brushes, and I, I just clean them as I go. This one's slowly wearing out, and the paint is slowly filling up from the ferrule. Oh, it's, but it still works. It's years and years old. So, we've got a bit of a Bit of a slope in there. So we'll put that in and we'll carry the yellow all the way across. Very quick, it's just this is a tutorial more than anything. A bit of yellow ochre, a bit of white. Elaborate with, with as as it dries, and we can we can work over it. Okay. Now we'll we'll put in a bit of bit of dark banking across here. The paint paper will start to buckle now because it's taking the moisture. It's always going to use some of this uh, medium, won't we? And then we've got a bit of bit of dark behind it. And then uh, we've got an island, not an island, but a bank, a bank around there. So I just mix up a darkish colour with that. Coming down there, and there's another one here, it's coming down there, and we've got trees and all sorts of grasses there. All right, don't panic. We've got another. From on three. Oh. 
to do this to build up an impasto on the surface here. So let's get uh, another bank across here. That one's going to come across here. Have a bit of grass. Right, just painting what I see. You can't see any tree, no tree trunks in this or branches. It's too far away and it's too green now. All the, all the summer foliage. But I'm waiting for that to dry up and I'll go back with the sky. With a nice bit of grey sky. But remember, if those of you are struggling with skies, clouds, make your clouds of silver, not of lead. Now, it's either Constable or, or the great Turner that said that. But they're both great artists. Screen's gone blank, so I just think back again. Right, so over here we've, we've got um, lots of wildflowers and general stuff in here. A uh, bit of medium. So I'll just put it in, I'm going to cover it up. Put some dark going in there so that I'm going to change my lights. We've got a bit of a tree there. More green. So that comes. I don't think that's on the bank coming around here. I think. So I just put it in. Bit black. Bit of red. Bit of yellow. Nice rich yellow. Nice. A bit of a bank coming in across here, coming up, and then all the way up there. Now we're putting some nice dark, oh I like black. Some, some dark in here. This is our, our feet. I threw the front painting the photograph of this through the chain link fence. Uh, so I'm going to cover this up and I'll put water in. Look, it's all scrubby, greeny reeds, sort of nettles, all sorts of wild stuff here. Yeah. So you never worry about making the finished painting at the beginning. We're just establishing, a, we're making a painting in other words. We're not copying slavishly, but I'll show you what I'm, where I am. Not there, I see that. <laughs> it's when you start to copy exact because it's there, it all starts to go wrong. Make art, not photographs. Right, so lecture over. Let's, the reason I'm painting this dark here, dark green, or ready green, is so that I can scumble over it with the lights. Light against light doesn't show, but light against dark does. Even if we're going to cover cover most of the dark up, there's a lot of dark in here. Right. Black, red, yellow. That's a really dark green in there. And some bits sticking up here. Shadowy bits. Look, I've used quite a bit of red in there. The red is great counter for the for the greens. If you want something to look, look greener, put red. Why we use poppies? Not just because they're there, but because they're the complementary colour. Red and green. Oh, look at that. So you never tell me we can put our, our white flowers over there. I'm, go, I'm going to go into a bit of sky now and, and a bit of this. Water, which is just a light grey. So now we haven't got a lot of uh, sky to do. But it's a very important picture. In many of my landscapes, the, the main interest is the sky, not so much the landscape. But this is a landscape painting because we've got so much of it. As the paper grows, you can just reclip it. Right. So so grey. So a nice grey colour. Well, a bit of red, 
bit of blue, a bit of white, a bit of black, nothing wrong with a bit of black. Right, and there we are. So, so our clouds. See, when we put the dark against that, or the light against something, it will show. That's, that's too dark, really, but scrubbing away. Some see, I scrub away. Well, yes, you are. You do, and the paper, the paper's rough or gessoed. Now we'll put some light, some light over there. Now a good colour uh, for the horizon would be a, a sort of a, a very light ochre or burnt sienna, just to show a bit of warmth as it comes down to the horizon. So, so a bit of bit of ochre grey. I'll reinstate all this, don't, don't, don't panic. With oil you have to wait quite a bit of time before you can you wait for it to go tack a bit tacky before you can go over it, but acrylic is all lovely and dry now. Now I'm nice and well and light now. Lighten those clouds quite considerably. Then we'll go back and Put the uh, the darks back. I'm killing the canvas at the moment. But you have to you have to practice doing skies. It's no good edging round. You've got to attack. A tacky paper. Right, that's probably about as dark as I want. Probably a bit darker for the, the modelling. But I want to get those light greys now. A bit, a bit of warm, a bit of red, a bit of ochre in there. Even nicer than that, but ochre. Mustn't, you don't want white. You want Like a very faint grey, warm grey. More. You use more white than any other colour. I am looking at what, what I'm working from. But we don't want portraits of things. Anyone see the uh, Fake Off Fortune last night on, on the Dagar? It was like looking at a very ethereal ballerina dancing on stage in between, or framed, a very small picture, framed between two double bass heads. And that was a chair doing that. Right, a bit, bit darker now. I'm in here. Now try to remember not to repeat yourself. So this is the light area is there. I'm going, I'm going to put the, the uh, trees back in this. And the darker bit is coming along here. And then Going up into the cloud, going into the top of the picture. Nice bit of yellow ochre in, in the dark. Oh, that could come up there. And a bit of dark there. And a bit of dark there. Now the nice lights. Now, those in. It's not white, it's just got a bit of, bit of yellow ochre on it. Oh. 
That painting I did of the, uh, the evening light, the evening cloud over my garden. I go there some dear friends, uh, for me, uh, my son's in-laws, they, they're down looking after their dog when I'm on holiday. And we spent five hours in the garden and barbecued. And a lovely time, and they really like that picture, so they've got others. And they like so much I gave it to them. So I'm not over mercenary. Hey, everybody's got something to give, haven't they? Uh, let's put that in there. It's breaking up the uh, softening. Let's, let's put in that light, very, very light grey in the water now. See, so you can paint straight on, on, your, on your support. You, you don't... Uh, um, I have to prime it. This is priming it as we go. One or two wind ruffles on this, but not many. Oops, it's too dark. I'll scumble over this with a bit of dry brush in a minute. I'll put my dry brush in before I actually put what is it causing the dry brush, like what's reflecting in it. Do that now. And we've got some uh, bit of shed around that Ooh. bank there. Just a bit of reflection. How have we done there? It sort of goes up a little bit there. Right. Uh, go back over the uh, over this here now. So, so far, I've only used this one brush. So we've got nice, nice greeny green colour. Light, lighter than that. Remember, I say keep things soft. Bring the trees into the grass, grass into the, into the surroundings. And we'll put some darker green. Oh, sort of a shadowy bank along here. Clumps of tree, uh, shrubby bushes there. And we've got this bank here. Oops. Yeah, you do that, make sure you, you know where it's going to go. It's going to end up. Along that bank there, 
It's green rather than black, I painted it. So I'll just go over that hard edge, blacky bit, dark bit there. Okay, now we've got to put in this line of uh, shadow, it's a, sort of a bank along there. And above that bank we've got some trees or some bushes. I will have a light top catching the bit of sunlight. So a bit of counter change when it's that dark background. Doesn't really show that bit of darker green. Use my shadows and crimson there, so okay. Right now we can go back over that uh, foliage at the, in the background here. Yeah, a bit airy, bit of light coming through. There's the Popular, so I'll just exaggerate those. And we've got some quite light greeny stuff here, which I can put in in a minute. Just want that light to show there. See, so nicely open, just to show. The, the canopies of these trees with plenty of light going through. Lots of seagulls here, and we're, we're about 30, 40, 35, 40 miles inland, but they congregate over the rubbish tip because it's a free meal. Then that's the thinking behind it. Okay, right, let's uh, start to work on the foreground now. Got a painting coming along here. Uh, uh, something up here, it's been a, a bit higher. Soften the bank. Right, okay, let's uh, get my big brush, this one, and then we'll, uh, we'll work on these dark greens. So I'll use my phthalo and my red, and my mid-yellow. I will put these in here. Just a tangle of, of all the stuff you get on a river, on a, a water bed bank. Nice light is sort of yellow on here. I could put that bank in there because that could have comes up there. So I want darker green. So we put in a light one. So the, the, the glass I put on this one here shows against the dark, the shadow. So it's all about light against dark. And then we've got some nice that's too blue. Like that there. More white in there. Catching a bit of light there. There. So you light against dark. Okay. 
So we've got lights, just, just look for your lights. If it looks like, put it light. Don't try and justify naming things. And now we've got a nice grassy bank in here, so we've... <coughs> Like that in. And, we, and there are lots of wild flowers in this. Let's make some of it a bit shabby. We'll put the white over this. Huh. That's why I put that darker colour on there so that it would uh, counter change against the lighter greens just drag in here right, now you can see what we're, what we're trying to do So we've got some dark, dark, um, oh I don't know what they are, but they're dark uh, wildflowers. So we've put a bit of raw sienna, bird sienna should I say, there's a good colour for those. So we'll just put them here. They're probably not as dark as I'm painting them. but. Look at that, those darks in here against that light grass. Uh, dark in there. Okay, bit of dark shadow on that edge there. And put some bit of dark on there. And then we've got that. Nice bank. Stick it up there with those reflections underneath. A nice light. Right, so I'll put the banks back. I mean the uh, yeah the banks. I'll use the largest brush possible, and I can go away with that, come across there. Okay. Go back to my first brush. And just using the edge of it, because it's quite a knife edge now, I'm going to put in, that, restate those banks again. Uh, uh, uh. There's the reflection. Just there. Could do that with a rigor, I suppose. Okay, so that's that. Now we've got, I've got light on there. I'm going to put the wildflowers in a minute, but I want I want that nice light green. On here. There's just the edges of all these lovely leafy trees catching a bit of the light. And then we'll put some in here catching the tops. As I say, the, the sun isn't going behind us, it's, it's all shadow. But We've got to, we can't just show a flat, a flat bit. We've just got to, we've got to just show the tips of some of these trees, hazels, horse chestnuts, all sorts of lovely stuff in here. There's a path the other side, like a cycle track, pedestrian way, in Beddington Park. Lovely cricket ground there. Pavilion. Cafeteria. Oh, we've got 
Oh, I'll just catch you a bit of light, just a bit of texture. Uh, a bit of, bit of light coming through here. Softening. Not justifying. Not naming things. I'm just. Oh, I'm quite enjoying this. Right, let's go do some flowers now. Uh, now we've got little yellow flowers. Lemony yellow. So we put those in, and there's some. Hey, we're we'll putting. We we'll put some poppies in. We? Uh, these are the lovely yellows. So let's just pull these in. They're all over here. We can do more of that. Right. Um, up here. Try not to get even marks with your brushes. Try to get a random hit with all this. And it's got a nice look on that yellow. Put those in. And some show just in, in that, on the edge of this bit of grass in here. Just catching a bit of light. They're there, so I'm putting them in. And then we've got some sienna. Very light. Right here. Nice, lovely love step. It's like a cover of, um, oh, I don't know, we're just sort of whiting off, just showing off white colour, but very, very light. It's like a carpet there, but all very, very wispy. So I'm just going to just put that nice bit of light back up there, on here. I want it to show. Okay, so that's that. Uh, I'm not going to do much else there. There looks to be a duck or something on there, but I can't, I'm not going to put it in. Uh, right, so some nice poppies. I'll use a rigger for the poppies. Or oh, no, I'll use a, a, a small, a small nylon brush. So I think I'm being a bit stingy with my poppies. I'm making them too small. a long way, a lot goes even further than Okay, that will, that'll do. I don't want to do much more than that. It's a, it's a sketch based on a photograph I took, what, two hours ago? I'll sign it and we'll put it in a mount and we'll have a look to see what we've actually done. I'll sign it in black, I think. All my paintings go on Facebook. I've got a page dedicated just to, to, to the stills of all the demos that I do, going back probably seven or eight months. Uh, it's Dave Usher, artist, Dave Usher, artist. I hope you can find it. Um, right, I, I'm going to put it in a mount and we'll have a look. I think probably the, uh, the lighter mount for this. Mainly because we haven't got any blue or very little blue in the painting. So we we'll put this one, the, the ivory mount, which is in a bit of a disgusting state. Right, okay, with that. 
Well, that's an honest little piece of work, isn't it? It's not copied anybody, it's my own original stuff. And that's just going to be the original paint. Well, I quite like that. Now, that is Bennington Farm. I was there this morning picking loads of cherry plums and blackberries on the other side of this fence. <coughs> so, th so there we are. That, that is a very impressionist, immediate painting, unfussed, painted what I saw. Um, and I can't do much more to it than that. I think any more than that would, would defeat the object of why I did it. Let's zoom in. The pure impressionism, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the camera. Well, I know that it's going downhill. That's only the, the way I've got my camera set up. So there's that's the tree line. Very sketchy. There's the sky. You can see the light clouds against the dark clouds, or the dark clouds against the light sky. And we're coming around here. Let's go across. And uh, we come down, there's my wild flowers, look, 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 look. Oh, I love those. Right, I'm, I'm not going to do any more to that. I could straighten that up a little bit and bit there, but uh, no, that's it. Let me know what you think. Okay, there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Have a go at it. Bye bye.